Um, so a few questions. You have been around the music, uh, the music scene, the international music scene. With is it Betcha Dupa? Yep, that's right. All right, for quite a while, you released "I'll Be Lightning" in 2007. How do you like going it solo? Uh, it's it's been good, I guess, because it's a bit different and made music and making music fresh again for me. We, uh, my band have been together for about eight or nine years, and and I absolutely love playing with them as well. But I, it's always good to mix things up a little to keep you, you know, feel like you're doing something worthwhile and and you know for genuine reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is there is there a particular process? How do you know if something's going to be like a solo song? Have you been banking them for a while or? Um, um, I think the songs that I was writing before I made this record all seemed pretty obviously like a solo material to me, only because I think they were I had a different vision for them than I would if I was trying to bring them to the band and turn them into a four-piece rock band kind of song or something, and, and I, I think that just made me realise I needed to, to do it in a different way. And they're also a bit more intimate to me in my life than the you know previous songs had been with the band, so it kind of just seemed like a natural decision. And you recorded, produced, and mixed the record all yourself, correct? Yeah. And also recorded it in all analog. Yeah. Um, was there what went into the decisions to do those things? Um, I mean, it was half, you know, my sort of idealism of liking to record things in analog. I'm not sort of such a Nazi about it that I, can, I can't use computers or anything like that. I just feels like a nicer way, a more romantic way to record music, and sound-wise, you just kind of capture something that you can't. I think on Pro Tools and, and you know other kind of modern ways of recording. So I think that was kind of a a natural you know thing for me to fall into doing. Plus I had access to some really great old vintage equipment and stuff. So it sort of you know was a, an obvious choice to make. Speaking of equipment, um, for your live show and well, you use a theremin. Yes. Um, Just broke actually oh, last night. Yeah. It, was, it stopped working and we tried to fix it today and it's very upsetting that it's not working. Yeah, um, but I have a new toy called a stylogram that I'm going to use instead tonight. What's that? It's like a keyboard that you play with a pen. It's like a little metal sort of keyboard, and you play it with a pen. You can kind of, yeah, sort of. Hopefully, it will be equally as interesting as the theorem. But yeah, that sounds real cool. Um, and just for the for the kids at home, what is a what is a theorem? A theorem is kind of a sort of a, an instrument that's based upon a, a, a metal rod that is a proximity kind of things so you use your hand to control the frequency that's coming out so it's sort of you can play the tune with your hand it's very approximate and some people can do it brilliantly the bigger ones like in tune but i might also use it to make it go woo, 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 kind of thing which is very similar to what i'll be doing on the stylogram <laughs> making noise um you keep a photo blog on the wire.co.nz correct yeah and is that is photography something that you're interested in in terms of you know, a hobby, or is that just something that they ask you to do? Uh, I've always taken a lot of photos and done all my own kind of press shots, as well as kind of just doing photos for the sake of documenting all the travelling that I do, and it just seems to go quite well with making music, taking photos really. And I've, I mean, I've been doing it for years, but it's nice that the, this website in New Zealand wanted to put them up, and a few other kind of magazines have published some, yeah. And turn all over the turn, turn all over the place. What do you have a particular place that you remember being? just the best to take pictures in? Um, I mean, I lived in London for a few years and that was pretty good for photography just because of the, you know, history there and, and all the, you know, it's a very, um, you know, unique place, England, and, and, I, and I got lots of photos out of being there, but really you can kind of make anywhere work for photography because that's, that's kind of the trick really is sort of how, how you see something, not really what you're looking at, but how you look at it. Right, and, um, Last question: Are you a cat person or a dog person? A dog person. A dog person was yeah. That? Probably because I've never had a cat, so I've never got to bond with one. But you I had, had a, dog. a few dogs, yeah. All right. What are, what are their names? Uh, well, my my first dog, who was my my well, who was my dog, and, and he's no longer with us, unfortunately. His name was Lester. Lester. And uh, but the, the other two dogs that my family have now have kind of been since I've lived in the house, so I'm not as attached to them. They annoy me. All right, well, thanks so much for taking the time to do this. Cheers. And, uh, have a great show. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So the seeds, so the seeds.